Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we're going to be discussing SPY, AMC, APE, GTII, FNGR, PEGY, MM. TLP, MMAT, BABL, AGFY, and APDN. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation by seller hold securities. This video is our opinion is meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Also hit the red subscribe button and little notification bell to be notified when we go live with the new video. Also click the link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. Sign up with your email and your mobile. Mobile is the fastest way to get all of our alerts. Simply enter your country code first followed by your number. For you, and can be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And once you sign up in the welcome email, you will get the free Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. This ebook talks about a lot of the strategies I discuss in my videos, and it is completely free, guys. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. And it's so important to sign up uh, with your mobile number, particularly for tomorrow. We have a special OTC QB alert for subscribers that is going to drop right at the opening bell. Text is the fastest way to get our alerts and this one is a low floater. So tomorrow we're expecting big fireworks on the OTC. But diving in here, folks, uh, SPY closed at 356. We have major, major CPI data at 8.30 a.m. Eastern dropping. Uh, we are going to finish the week either uh, we're going to break down or we're going to bounce. I am playing it with uh, 365 calls, which closed today at 206, and 350 puts, which closed at 227. These both expire on Friday. So either we're going to break down, we're going to go down and test 350, or we are going to bounce if the inflation data is not as hot as expected, and then people are going to start thinking that the Fed will slow down its rate of uh, interest rate increases, and we will get a bounce. So the market right now is in a make or break point, and uh, I really like these setups because it's pretty obvious what's going to happen. So uh, certainly uh, we'll be uh, looking forward to that 8.30 a.m. Uh, data. But right now, guys, uh, we are seeing a lot of short squeeze plays. Uh, you know, I really laugh at a lot of these other YouTube influencers who have no clue about trading or markets or anything. I mean, they are just wanting all of you guys to be in AMC, APE. They say, the move's coming, the move's coming. Keep, hold, hold the line, hold the line. Well, I mean, this is just a downward trend. I mean, it's so freaking obvious. Uh, I, I don't know how you can't see this. Um, look at the ones that are working right now. GTII, this was the first, within this month, uh, within the last past month, this is the one that started it in terms of uh, squeezing the shorts. There's a lot of naked shorts in GTII, FNGR, P-E-G-Y, M-M-M-T-L-P, and M-M-M-A-T. And I mean, you just, it's so obvious. I mean, you just see uh, the short squeeze plays and, and you catch these runs. Guys, I mean, we've been all over... And I'm still long finger FNGR. Uh, we need to get above ten dollars here. Um, but when this play is over with, I'm, I'm out and I move on to the next one. Please, guys, do not fall in love with any of these plays. Uh, play the sentiment. We are constantly here at insiderfinancial.com looking for these uh, short squeeze plays. Uh, I do a lot of screens, do a lot of indicators. For a lot of you guys, one of the best ways is just simply go to stock twits. Uh, it tells you what's going on here in terms of the price, sentiment, message volume. You can look at the rankings and the trending ticker. trending tickers. I mean, this is one of the first things that I look at. It tells you most active, watchers, it, you, you get a sense of the sentiment and what people are talking about. 
and you want to focus on green. Green is good, red is bad. I, I, I really, you know, I shouldn't laugh, but you, gonna, you guys really got to keep things simple uh, when it comes to trading. Don't overcomplicate things. Sentiment is right now driving markets. Don't be buying dips on, uh, in, you know, on red days, on, you know, in red plays, because it's just, they keep going down. Uh, case in point is AMC and Ape. Uh, Ape is just absolutely blowing up in people's faces. Um, and I just really wish people would stop uh, listening to a lot of these guys that have, no, that have never traded in their life, that have no clue about anything. They got lucky in AMC, you know, uh, back in 2021. Uh, but guys, you got to get off that dead horse, move on to the next play. I mean, seriously, you will be a, a lot happier and you will make a lot more money if you get off of that, uh, you know, high horse, you know, diamond hands, paper hands, BS. But finger, uh, you know, it's a 10x play in the last month, uh, just this month, uh, in the uh, month of October. Uh, the company report made an appearance at the Virtual Emerging Growth Conference. Uh, like the CEO said, uh, Martin Shen said, the run-up is likely due to covered short sales in our market. In the market for our particular stock, there has been some significant pressure. Perhaps that is short pressure that has been hit hitting us for a couple of months, and perhaps shorts are trying to cover. I'd like to think the stock price. Price rise is rising because of our uh, partnership with Pack Life. Also, the introduction of device protection. But the, the financing all stems from uh, the shorts, uh, the four million financing from Lynn Partners. Uh, this is what he had to say: Recent financing the company received wasn't on optimal terms. Shen said, "Now we can be more selective in our financing that we procure in the future, and it might be debt fin financing, it might be equity, or it might be a mixture of both." So that is where the um, Lynn Partners and uh, their friends over uh, have been shorting. Uh, and I think, so, you know, what we're seeing is that they're caught <coughs> and uh, they're getting their absolutely their face ripped off. But right now, FNGR, it's the RSI is at 82. We need to close above $10. Um, I have lightened my position on this run up here, um, but we are consolidating here. So again, uh, we get above 10 and this one can really, really take off. So certainly uh, keep your eye on FNGR for that type of move, but also please guys use a trailing stop. We got a 10X, you know, this is a 10X play. Uh, we've been covering it here uh, since 105 uh, at insiderfinancial.com for our subscribers. Um, my colleague, Mike Long, has been writing about it. Uh, we had a great article, Ape Army Helps GTII and FNGR Draw First Blood Against Shorts. And again, you know, uh, people are just, you know, they're moving on to the next place. Uh, PEGY has been a, been a great play, but right now the one that everyone is all over is MMMTLP and uh, MMAT. So this is Meta Materials. Um, just been a, in an absolute killer run here uh, this month. And then you look over here, as I said, on the stock twits, uh, you can see Watchers, most active, uh, MMTLP is, is the one right now that everyone is focused on. And uh, there's no sign of, of this uh, short squeeze letting up. So again, uh, if you have caught this move in, in MMTLP, congrats. And uh, the CEO, uh, George Palacaris, uh, he's been uh, tweeting. So uh, you can go, if, if you are in MMTLP, can go and get updates uh, from his Twitter at uh, Palica Palicaris, uh, that, which is about as Greek of a name as you get. Uh, moving on, uh, BABL, big runner on the OTC, up over 300%. Uh, this one got off the expert market, got pink current today. Uh, it was green all day, so a uh, nice move here on the tier change. Uh, AGFY, uh, this one has just a $31 million market cap, was up 88% today. 13% uh, of the float is short, another short squeeze play right there. Uh, and APDN, uh, this is one that we've been talking about here a lot on uh, at InsiderFinish.com. Uh, first with Monkeypox, and then uh, they got a news release this week. Um, just a $43 million market cap with 12.7 million shares in the float, and 6% of that float is short. We think the number is higher. Uh, this one was up 36% today and bidding higher in the after hours. So uh, again, uh, 
a lot of these plays here, you know, uh, you can get in, get out, and then just wait for the next move. You know, GTII is is one here. It's consolidating right here. Uh, this one here is either going to break out or break down. Uh, just play the momentum. You know, again, it's it's going to be so obvious. Put it on your watch list, guys. Once these things start moving, that's when you want to get in. So again, uh, also, you know, you can sign up for our alerts. We send out alerts if we because um, we're watching all these plays. Uh, if we think they're going to make a major move. So again, uh, click the link in the description. Uh, again, it is completely free. We send out the alerts and a full report of what's happening via email and uh, SMS, via text message. But again, do always do your own do, due diligence. Uh, uh, InsiderFinancial.com is just a starting point for you guys to, as I said, do your own due diligence. With that being said, guys, we have a special alert for subscribers at the opening bell. This is an OTCQB, expecting major fireworks on the OTC tomorrow. So click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. All right, guys. Well, good luck tomorrow, and uh, let's let's watch the CPI data, keep watching the markets, and let's keep banking uh, money in this bear market. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll be coming live to you after the bell with a new video. Have a great day everyone. Bye-bye.